So today's video, we are going to make your new gens, your regens, go from this to this. We have over 20,000 new gen faces. We're going to download the face pack. I'm going to show you how to put the face pack in the game using the new GAN manager tool. Links to everything down below. Don't worry. Let's get into it. Big shout out to the guys over at View From A Touchline. I'll leave their link down in the description as well, especially their Twitter because they're daily threads. Generally tactical stuff, but Paul has joined the team recently and has led the way in terms of this incredible face pack that is absolutely free. All right, let's get into it. Smash a like, let's go. Oh, and the next thing before we get into it, if it doesn't work, you're doing something wrong. I'm just gonna leave that little disclaimer right there. Follow it step by step, in particular the path instructions for putting graphics in and stuff. If it's not right, you're doing something wrong. Okay, disclaimer done, let's go. Right, the first thing you are going to do is click on the first link, that is the face pack link. It takes you over to view from a touchline. You're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom. Now, here is the mega pack. Now, initially I thought this had all of the faces in, that is not correct. The mega pack download was the first initial download and then the other five after that are add-ons. Okay, so what you're going to need to do is download that first. So you click the link, it will take you over to Mediafire, you click download, and then into your downloads, there you go, the one that I've just literally downloaded. So you're gonna extract that using, I don't know, 7-zip, WinZip, whatever you want. You're gonna extract it, and then you make sure you extract it into Documents, Sports Interactive, Football Manager, into the Graphics. If you haven't got a Graphics folder, just make one called Graphics, press Extract, and eventually it will pop up in there and there you go you've got the fm eugens mega pack okay so that's the first thing that you need to do the second third fourth and fifth thing you need to do is you then need to download these packs individually they don't take very long but they've all got like up to maybe three thousand each giving you that grand total of over twenty thousand. okay so download them one by one now very important you do something a little bit different okay so once in downloads update pack is zipped so we're going to do that and then you're going to extract it and i'm going to extract it here doesn't take long look okay a little bit different this time instead of copying the whole folder across you're going to go into the folder you're going to cut all that bosh press the cut button head over to your football manager document sports interactive football manager as we said graphics and then fmu gens mega pack and then you're going to paste it in there okay paste it in there and then all the folders will mix in and combine into one you will do that so you'll do that for all the packs we've just done one then we'll do two three four and five all the same extract it in your downloads go into the folder extract the folder cut all them out and paste them into the sports interactive documents folder football manager graphics fm new gens that one as we said right there do that five times and then you've got this here now this is the only little issue that you need to get working so you get all of the face packs so as you can see we've got an african asian etc 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 now down to south american and scandinavian we've also got scandinavia and south america okay so what you're gonna have to do these fi these files in here currently will not work when we get the new gang manager tool going so what i'm gonna do is control a highlight them all we're going to cut them all. We're going to then go into the Scandinavian and we're going to paste it. It won't take long. Over a thousand items, are just, nearly a thousand items have just gone in there. There you go. Bosh. Scandinavia folder is now empty. So we're just going to delete that. Okay, same for South America and South America. And go into the South America folder. Control A. Boom. There you go. If we go back into the South America folder, it is now empty. So we could delete that. That's the only real thing, that the only little tweak that we need to make. Paul has assured me, I think, over the next weeks, months, um, if you're watching this well in advance, he may have done just one massive pack together. But if you're watching it and you realise that you've got a South American folder and a South America folder, a Scandinavian folder and a S Scandinavia folder, you need to make sure you just end up with those two files right there. Okay, that is job number one complete. Then to get the new GAM manager, what you're gonna do is click on the second link, new GAM manager version 1.3.1. You get this page here, scroll down, and then you need to download the one that you want. I am a Windows man, so boom. And then you're gonna to head to your downloads. There it is right there. I'm going to show more options because I'm gonna use my 7-zip again. We're gonna extract files, and we're gonna just gonna go and put it in, let's put it in my, my documents. We'll put it in there, press okay. Press OK, and then you can see new GAN manager installer version 1.3.1. So what you're then going to do is if you want to copy 
these two folders the filters and the views because they have except they have special things in here that you are going to need so copy them both just like that head to your football manager folder i've got mine sidebar uh, pinned on the side but it's document sports interactive football manager as we've done press paste there you go and then in the folders that you'll already have you'll have that special folder there and in the views you'll have those for there now heading back to the documents folder where the new gun manager installer is there we head to windows and then we're going to press double click and it's going to install for you finish and then it should be uploaded so we're going to go to all apps scroll down new gan manager is right there and there we go it's installed so that bit's done we now need to head into the game right so we're in game now so as you can see this is my go ahead eagles save there we go okay so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna create another manager so what you need to do is just go new manager doesn't matter who only start unemployed play that's very important because that is now gonna give us every single player in the game so now when we go to play search scouting play search we've got this here what we're gonna do is new search down here to this icon manage filters import and then is new gen search filter press load click it press ok it then hasn't come up yet so you need to go back into that little icon there the little wheel press it press no and it's there press ok so this will give me then all of the regens i currently have in the game so what we are going to do now is go to here selection custom script faces play search okay now we need to highlight them all so click the first one and then do control a there you go that took me about four times to do so you might just have to keep going with it be patient every time you do it just leave it a couple of seconds depending on how many players in i think it's just a little bit slow to respond and then we need to go control p that gives you this folder here that one was an easy one to do text file press ok right and you can save it wherever you want so i'm just going to save it in my football manager folder so i'm just going to save it eagles because that's the save that i'm currently doing and i'm going to call it 2032 because i think that's the season that we're in right very important that you do that press save that's saved you then head over to your new game manager make a profile so i'm going to call it go ahead eagles so i normally do this based on what save you're doing press create and then profile go ahead eagles select image directory so this is where the folder is that we did it initially at the start so that will be in your documents sports interactive football manager 2023 graphics that folder oops that folder right there press don't go any further than that press okay there you go so it should come up and look something like that finishing with fm ugens mega pack the rtf file is that file that we just created in our football manager folder so sports interactive football manager and down at the bottom there it is just that document there press open now this is where a couple of things that you want to be aware of allow duplicates yes because you want everyone to have a face and if you're doing it like me where you're giving everybody a face there needs to be a few duplicates okay chances are you won't come across them in, in your game so don't worry and for this one we're just going to press generate okay after you've done generate and for the next season remember you'll have a new batch of regions coming through every season so maybe around june july time i will then go back into the game create that new manager but instead of doing generate this time you would do preserve so that would keep the current ones that you have and then add on any additional ones for the new regions that have just come through um, the youth intake that year but for this one for the initial one you just want generate and then you click replace faces and then it starts doing this it may take a while it may go really quickly this one has gone really quickly press ok head back into your game you can now get rid of my manager that manager that we initially done so we could go back on i can just retire him so we're left with our normal dude we go to our football player and walter lazau my colombian superstar 23 goals in 30 games by the way uh 275 pound bargain is still that so what you're going to need to do is go to fm 
preferences, clear the old cache, wherever that is, reload skin. Once that's sort of like reloaded to set, reset things, going to Lazao. Oh, and there you go, water boy, he looks like. Where is my Argentinian superstar? The guy that we originally said at the start, Maximiliano Signorelli, there he is. Okay, that's it guys. Now I have come across a few little issues and I will be totally frank with you how it's worked. I have obviously got it working in real time, but it's been a bit of a pain. So last night, had a little practice, got it, uploaded, did it, practiced it, looked really cool. And I thought, right, I then need to just um, take the faces off for now, so reset it, and then go back into the new jam so I can just go through it with you guys today. It would not let me open the software, the new game manager tool. No matter what I did, couldn't find the file, file for it. So what I've had to do is clean everything out. So my advice to you would be make sure you put the folder somewhere. So remember I put it in my documents folder, don't just have it in your downloads and then that seemed to work. But if you're having to reinstall it because you've already installed it, you need to get rid of everything. So I got rid of, I uninstalled it, looked around for anything and I did see a little bit on Zealand where he told you to, if you just delete this and you go local data, local app data, type that in go to programs and it's in there now i deleted that folder as well went into my recycle bin and emptied my recycle bin so everything was empty i got rid of all the old x uh, sort of like the old uh, files that were in my downloads because i downloaded it three times while practicing etc so wipe your slate clean go back in download it make sure you extract the folder properly to a like a document i did it to my documents and it's worked fine this time round. All right, that is it. 20 odd thousand faces. Said you can use them in the new gun tool. You can remember you don't have to use the new gun manager tool if you want to upload them just for your players that you sign. Like I used to do that, but you have to do a config file for that. I may do a video on that if there's enough requests down below. So if you're interested in me showing you how you manually put players into the game, let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bit of a big one, but it was a big file, all for free. And make sure drop a follow on the socials at View from the Touchline. Loads of tactic stuff and uh, make sure you give a poll. I'll actually leave his personal Twitter down there as well so you can just give him a hell yeah, good effort. All right, cheers guys. Thanks for watching. See you later.